this year. All of you know, uh, some of you know, there's a lot of members, a lot of guests today, so I welcome you all first of all, and more especially to Domenico Simone. Simone and Paul. Paul, his relatives are somewhere in, from south of India. Because the name is so long that I start from the beginning and I go back and forth, back and forth. So I'm sorry, in India you are Paul or San Paolo if you like. Paul is a lucky guy. I wish I was as lucky as him. 30 years ago, if I was in Italy, I would have definitely married an Italian winemaker's daughter. <laughs> but times were not there and Paul is a sixth generation Carpene daughter's husband. So congratulations for the medal and uh, I hope you're looking after the winery well. It's also a 15th year that I was in touch with Carpene Malmolti. It was 2002 that I went to win Italy and uh, I was moving around various stalls and uh, I happened to go to Carpene Malmolti, huge stand, very impressive. And I met this young woman who was in India trying to get Prosecco into India. That was the time when there was hardly any Prosecco. We had Kava and we had other sparkling ones, but no Prosecco. And she was trying to sell Prosecco and she was talking to Brinko and a few other people, but she was not successful. And she had given samples here and there, and so, you know, I sat with her, spent a lot of time with her. And as it happened that a few times later, I've been to the winery, you know, five times, I think. And uh, it is Cornigliano. Cornigliano is the base of uh, DOCG wines, as uh, some of you know. And I often stress this fact that Prosecco is a Prosecco unless a DOCG. And why I say that? Because this is only small area from Cornigliano to Valdio Pisiane, which is uh, 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 about 22 kilometers from uh, uh, Cornigliano. And the, it's like a classical area where the soil, the terroir, and the, and the, and the, the beauty all converge into making a beautiful wine, which is Prosecco DOCG. Now in 2009, they changed the laws. Uh, when I went there for the first time, it was DOC uh, there, and only Kartitse used to be DOCG. And Kartitse, according to me, is one of the most beautiful mountains uh, in, in Italy anyway, and maybe comparable to some parts of the world. Make beautiful wine, and it was DOCG wine at that time. But then 2009, Italian got smart. They were making IGT wines all around, and Prosecco was getting popular all over. And uh, so there was a problem in uh, classification, so they went to the European Union and they said, no, 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 we are making Prosecco with Glera grapes, and this is DOCG, and this is DOC. So they made them agree to this concept of DOC. So the, all these wines, which uh, in Carnegiano and other areas was DOC, it became DOCG. A special consortium was formed, and then DOC was all <laughs> around, all the IGD wines, Treviso, Veneto, Friuli, and all the area. I won't go into technical details. So much that Prosecco has been exploding. I mean, I've been proponent of Prosecco because I'm a poor man, so I can't afford champagne all the time. So Prosecco was a good enough substitute for us because of taxes. So I used to say that, look, let's bring Prosecco to start with. We'll come through champagne uh, when the taxes come down or whatever. But that never happened. And the Prosecco people kept on looking at other countries, but they did very well. And today, there are half a billion bottles of Prosecco which are being sold in the world. And uh, uh, the DOCG area, which when I went for the first time, was 73,000, 73, Thousand bottles? No, seven thirty thousand bottles. Yes, eight, eight, yeah, eight, eight million bottles. Yes, and now today, after twelve years, it is only eighty-four million. So the increase has been only two percent per year. But otherwise, all over, there are you know millions and millions of these bottles being sold. There are many, many people who are selling twenty million plus bottles. It's no big deal at all. They overtook champagne as the biggest seller three years ago, and today they are number one in the world. And I think very soon there'll be we'll see a shakedown. I think the the, the problems are coming. I, I'm sure uh, it will happen. But DOCG, that 83 million bottles that we produce, they are really the the best of the best, so to speak. And uh, they're not going anywhere. And uh, so I I, I remember uh, I won't go to the process that uh, I saw, 
uh, if they have some special process in your winery. Cornelione, uh, the uh, Carpene Malvolti is the first winery that was set up to make Prosecco. Uh, Carpene uh, went to uh, France. Everything starts from uh, France and Champagne, we know that. So they brought this technology and uh, uh, in fact they set up an institute which is still there, the, one of the oldest universities in Italy for making uh, Italian uh, sparkling wines and uh, they specialize in making Prosecco and uh, so Carpene, Carpene, the sixth generation daughter Rosanna, 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 yes. she's married to Paul and uh, so that's uh, how we have him here and uh, we are happy to have you, very uh, welcome. I said all this just to welcome you two guys, okay? I'm not going to say anything about the wine today, uh, except that uh, we started the new year with the champagne uh, brunch, uh, unlimited uh, uh, champagne was there. So, and some of you do know that I have love for Italians, and I said, why not I I Italians or Italian wines? And so Prosecco to me, and I, I do believe personally, it's my personal opinion, don't go away. I think that this is a, a one of the very best Prosecco selling in India today. And I'm so glad that Astri uh, started importing it. Thanks, Arun, for helping me organize this event today. And uh, so may I uh, request uh, Domenico Sh uh, uh, um, Shimone to come and see, say a few words. He's the global director of sales. And it's a privilege to have him with us today. It's when people like him come to India, we learn something, and I'm hoping to learn something today. Thank you. And Paul, you also please join us. Paul, come, you come also and say a few words if you like. And Domenico. Good evening everybody, thank you so much for coming here and uh, let me this chance to thank you so much to the President uh, Mr. Subak. I, I propose to name it as uh, World Wine Ambassador of Prosecco Superiore because uh, he knows very well everything. I don't want to add anything. I just uh, want to tell you before to thank so much Arun to having organized everything for this evening. I'd like to tell you just to think, just because I don't want to take your time. Thank you for coming here, and I'd like to thank you with the, the number of our foundation. We were born in 1868, and for this reason, I thank you so much. 1868 times to be here, oh. and the next time, the next thing is uh, like to invite you, everybody of you, to come to visit the Conegliano and Valdivia area. And uh, I hope to have you as a guest in the next 2018, just because we have two important reasons. The one is sure that Carpone Malvolti we will enjoy the 150th anniversary. And the second one we hope to obtain as Conegliano Valdobbiadian area the important recognition by UNESCO heritage. If it will be a happen, this important event will be a very, very extraordinary coincidence. Antonio Carpone in 1868 invented Prosecco and they created the first wine in the world as Carpone Malvolti. And uh, the 150 years later, the UNESCO will uh, recognize the uh, as heritage the uh, territory like Conegliano and Valdobbiano. So, thank you so much and uh, invite Mr. Paolo to, to add some work. But before he says, he promised me in private that he will try his best to get as a free charter plane to come for the anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> okay? It's true. Keep it's true. that in mind. Yeah, yeah. Now it's not any more private, but anyway, it's true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Just on behalf of uh, Carpene Malvolti, Carpene family in this case. I just want to thank you for coming here and uh, to, uh, to appreciate uh, our program because uh, I was uh, talking to um, many people tonight and everybody knew Prosecco, everybody knew Italy, everybody knew the territory and it was very, very uh, unusual for me to be so far away from a uh, house and to find people with such a deep knowledge of uh, the territory, of the wine, of the history. It's a very privilege for me to, to find this, uh, this situation here today. So thanks again and uh, have a good, uh, good dinner. Ah, thank you. Thank you very much. I would just like to, before I sit down, just like to add one little thing here. That uh, since I was a fan of Carpene Malvolti, a French daughter was getting married six, seven years ago. And uh, so he told me to organize the wines for him. And uh, so I said, we, he wanted a champagne. I said, forget about champagne. We'll have Capanema Malvolti. And Arun uh, was nice enough to give us a good deal also. And uh, believe me, we had ordered 25 cases of Carpene Malvolti. And there were six other wines which I selected. And Carpene was the first one to, to go. It was just evaporated. 
everybody saying, I want more champagne. I said, this is not champagne, it's a Prosecco. So other guys, I want champagne. I said, this is not champagne, it's Prosecco. After a while, I said, I don't give a damn. You know, it's not champagne, it's not mine. It's sparkling wine anyway, so you say whatever the hell you want. And later on, at others' wedding also, I served the same cup anymore. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.